good morning you early risers on a Sunday morning. Here we are, ready for another day. And number 17, so over halfway now and uh, ready and go, <laughs> ready and going for uh, getting these put together. So speaking of put together, we've got number 17 and here look, it's between the nine and eight. So I've already taped it into place. So whatever happens, I can sort of work out what's going on between these two, maybe. So I'm going to move that out of the way. And the first thing I'm going to do with this is to mark in that little cross that we always do. Just helps with the uh, placing of different things. Good morning. There are some people up. Good morning. Okay. So there is uh, our first little bit. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit larger. And you can see from here that it looks like we've got a bit of a border happening. And for a certain part, we have. So um, that's, uh, do I want to put that in? I'm going to put that in after today because sticking with pencil, we've got a few of these bubble kind of things. And remember here, I wasn't quite sure what was going on here. This is going to join in. So I'm going to sort that out first. Okay. So being that I put this cross in, Okay, I'm going to go a little bit bigger. There you go. I've got a bubble here and it's mostly, mostly here, but it comes over the top there as well. On that kind of, see, I can round it in a, in a little bit and it's going to go, just sort of get your positioning right first. Okay, so not so much in there, but more there and a lot of it there. But then this piece comes up and around. Remember this here? It's going to join there. Like that. Look at that joining. Glad I did that in pencil now. Okay. Oh, morning everybody. And then from here, this little bit as well. Let's have a look. This is going to come down a little bit, which we can sort out in a minute because here we've got this line. And this line is going to come and join down here. Might make that a bit taller, looking at that. Okay, there we go. So let's see if I do have my rubber, my little kit here. I know I've got one in my little sofa storage, but I'm not sat on the sofa at the minute. So there we go. Let's just rub that little bit out there so we can get that. See, so this is coming down here. This then is coming down here. Okay, and then here we can sort of work this out. So let's take that round a bit more. And then see, it's getting wider there. <coughs> is that groggy again? Not a cup of tea yet. There we are. So there's that shape. And these two bits here. We're actually that inside section there. Look at that. Okay. So another bubble and it's sort of going off and around here. It's quite a large one again. So a little bit of it's there and the rest of it's sort of coming around. And almost going to the bottom there. But again, it's going to go off there. Uh, uh, rose there is but I didn't need all of it because I've got this so I thought rather than draw it all across I'll I'll put it in afterwards and of course we'd got this so I've done that bit first today okay so far so good then and let's have a look here it's not such a big thing what's going on here then so we need to bring this down and now this one feels like it's sort of coming down here Whereas my tile, it wants to go across there. But that's okay because, you know, yesterday we talked about changing things up if we had to. So this one I'm going to bring down here because that's sort of where it's it's feeling right. So you, you might find that uh, yours wants to go further along. And indeed mine does go across there. But see how it's curving? It's gonna have, I'm gonna to have to live with that. It's gonna to have to go there. So it'll be fine. I'm not gonna worry about that too much at all. So I'm gonna put these bits in in pen. Okay. 
Now see if you find that yours is looking a little bit different than mine or your lines don't want to completely join up, please don't worry about it. Go with what's on your tile and what looks right for you. Okay. There you are, see? So I can take that all the way around and up to join that one there. And then this one up around here. And then this one, see, I've got a better sweep there that joins that one to that one. Okay. And then here, I'm sort of coming off of that. And up there, just so that's got a nice sort of finishing sweep on it. And it's, this is joining, so let's put those in. I've sort of done that one there. And then here, let's going to bring that round and in there. Okay, so we've got that joining. Oh, Rebecca, honestly, number 14, let, we'll have a look at it in a minute, okay? Let's see if we can help out a little bit. Okay, see this bit in here? What I'm going to do is come on in and I'm going to put these shapes on this side. And then here, in between, put those in there. That's that bit done. And then, of course, here, now again, I've got a decision to make because this here looks like it wants another one here. Do I put another one or do I continue with this? Because another one I'm not sure is going to fit. So if I continue with that one, you see, quite a gap there. So again, I'm going to, let's put a sort of miniature one in there. So it fills that. You could fill that with bubbles. You can see how yours sort of fares in there. But see, that's how that one wants to go. So sometimes we've got to work that way. Okay. All right, so that's that bit in there. This one then, I am going to put this one in with pen. And uh, I'm sure because it's quite large, we can make that work on the other side. If you wanted to do a full bubble, and you think, oh, I can't because I haven't got it, then put a piece of paper here. Or even, I know this sounds crazy, the back of another tile, you know? And then draw it in, you see, with pencil. So you actually, let's just do that. So draw it in with pencil so you get like the, the full shape so you can sort of see it. Yeah. You could always also put a tile there ready. I mean, that's gonna be number 26. So you could have put this one here and then you can draw around that bubble and have that in place in pencil ready for when you need it. So there's, there's always ways around things. There's always ways to see how it goes. Okay. So this time we're, we're going around this way. And then on the inside, I'm going to put that little shape in there. Like that. So now I can come in and put that border in. And being that everything's in in pencil, oh sorry, everything's in in pen now, I can come in and do the same. As long as you're comfortable with that, you can draw it in in pen. So you see why we didn't, we didn't need to go all the way across? And again, on my uh, tile that I've got here, there's not this much border on, but so you know, they're all gonna change. So continue that then with some bubbles and bend around. Okay. And there. Don't have them too small, you know, keep them going as though it's a constant. Since this is around here, isn't it? It looks like there's going to be a border on all of the outside ones. That's my feeling anyway. I don't know, maybe some are going to have a fuller one than others. That sort of seems to be the, the way, doesn't it? I'm going to bring my uh, 05 pen in now, just to continue that 
little bit of a inking around and into there and along we go it's a, quite a nice border isn't it it's, I think if you were going to do this at, you know on a piece and try and do this border all in one I think you might sort of uh, lose the will to live a little bit as much as we love bubbles there's quite a lot of it but because we're doing a little bit each day it's going to build and we're not going to really notice that sort of repetitiveness completely on it so it feels okay it's one of those things that you've got to do in sections I reckon okay so let's uh, put that pen down I'm going to come back in with this one and you see where we've got these little lines here let's go a bit more there. Right there, there for a purpose because again, let's have a look. I've got a couple of lines going on here. Now, if I put this one in, this one looks like it's sort of ending it, so I'm going to put that one in in pen now. Same with this one, same with this one, and then of course, we can address whatever happens on the other side of it. So, let's have a look at that. I'm going to rub out those bits that I don't really need lines okay so this one's I say it looks a little bit different to the one that I've got um, in front of me but very very similar so uh, I bet you are soon <laughs> so let's put the shading on and then I'll I'll show you the one I'm looking at and then we'll go back and have a look at number 14 and see if we can uh, get to grips with it a little bit let's see if we can work it out okay bit of an accent in the nose and then uh, in uh, in here we've got a bit of shading at the bottom of that and I'm going to shade in there put a bit there maybe and a little bit across there and we'll just put a little bit in those and then of course bubbles let's do it that way I'm keeping my bubble accent and sort of in the same place of course, looking at anything that's a little bit bigger. There you go. And then along into that bit there. Okay. So, a bit of a torchy on action there. So, at least I'm here giving it that kind of roundness. I keep it going round if you can and ease it off. See there, look, it's a bit of flat there, but that's okay. If you ever get something like that and it bothers you, put some bubbles completely all the way around it. But in the big scheme of things, you're not going to you're not going to see that one single little bit. So it's absolutely fine as it is. That's how it was drawn on the day. Okay, here we go. Right, and so a little bit here, a little bit there, and a little bit around there. Okay. So there we are. There's number 17. So let me just have a little look, see if I can find my 14. Oh, here we go. 14, look, is attached to this one. So, yeah, let's uh, pull this out. Okay. Oh, it's not so attached to that one as well, isn't it? So you've got quite a row going on. But let's keep that out of the way for a moment. Let's have a look at number 14 again. So I'm going to use the back of my little grid here. And um, let's just sketch in number 14. This, so imagine that this is your tile. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, and of course we've got the one at the top that was joining it together. You see we've got this one and this one. Okay, so in there we'd started, we'd sort of got a ball in there. So that was our starting point. There we go. And let's just put our little cross in as before. Okay, 
So in there, you've got lots of bubbles. Let's have a look at that. Uh, it's okay, it's no problem. See, you've got these bubbles. So I'm not gonna draw those in because we know it's there, okay? And then we've got these sort of swooping shapes, but let's see if we can work out what we're doing, okay? First one, I'm gonna come from this point here and then I'm gonna work myself down to here. Let me just mark in my uh, little lines again here on this, you know, on this one so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. So this one, imagine you've got a curve coming from here to here. Let's do that. And then another one real close by going to the same point. So that's this bit here. Okay. So then from there, I'm going to come up just a little bit and I'm going to create a curve. Okay. And then inside this, it's got two more curves. See, one there, look, and one there. So that gives us this bit, which is this bit here. And inside this bit, we're going to put these loops. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the bubbles and filling it. We've got that one in. So once this one's in, we can put this next one in. So let's bring it here, look out there and you're not quite going to get the point the points coming off and into the next tile and then up and it's coming around so it's almost almost touching the edge there and then I'm going to bring this one in there and as before we've got these two lines I'm going to put these two lines and then little loops inside that one there we go so far so good okay so there's those two those two and then another one so we're going to come this way this time from here we're going to come out and round and almost creating that other side there because this is going to go off here it's going to create another petal and then see we've got that happening again and then here little loops little loops okay you see that look it's going to go off and out so that gives us our three here we go it gives us one two three so then this one last bit one here see and this is going to sort of go off and into this bit here and you're not really going to see see these lines you're going to see just a little bit there and then of course you're going to sort of fit those in there so there's that one and then in between them you see so we've got these main petals in now so these ones it sort of goes this way this way and that one's going to go off there and the rest of it here I'm not going to worry too much about because it's going off and doing other things but I'm just going to put those in place so that we know exactly where things are when we need them so I hope that one I know we've gone back a little bit look in a second that's number 14 okay a little bit tricky but hopefully doing it a different way is giving you those little hints and that helps a little bit but of course our main one for today let's just turn it around again was number 17 and uh, there we go number 17 so all done but looking at that one and again just looking at the one I've done you can see here look that this has got <coughs> my loops are coming out this way whereas this one they weren't but that's okay, I've made that adaption there. And then on the edge here, you can see the bottom section of this, or the, the edge of this. And again, you can see that that one's in that tile and not through there, look, you see? So it's not a problem at all. Sometimes these things are gonna change a little bit and we, we know that, so that's okay. So amend it to suit. If you're not sure, do it in pencil 
and then when you actually get to it you can uh, put it into pen afterwards so there we go so we've got quite a join now we've got a lot of things going on and uh, it's nice to sort of tape them as you go and of course this one it does attach to number 14 itself so um, that might help or not i don't know you see how that's coming together there and having these going on this one see coming round but work on that one on its own first if it's a little bit confusing but that was the one for today so not too bad so i hope everybody has uh, a lovely day and i'll catch you tomorrow for number 18 so take care everybody and enjoy and uh, i'll see you tomorrow okay bye